So, come on in. Take a sip. Let's wind down on the Thursday crossword from my hotel room once again in the Bavarian Alps. Let's uh, see what we got in this grid for us today. Let's take a look. Okay, so many a download. You know, it seems like these are usually PDFs or JPGs, doesn't it? I mean, it could be any number of things. I mean, it could be a GIF. But let's go with uh, PDF to start. PDF is a good way to start, I think. So education group, maybe a PTA. All right. Quirky bit of running footwear. Now, I think this is a toe shoe. <clears throat> and I had toe shoes for the longest time. I really thought I needed them to run effectively, but they were a bit quirky. And I have really long toes, so it didn't do me much good. Be like-minded about... Well, I guess that could be agree on or agree to. I don't know what's what. I don't even know if this is right, but let's take a look and see what we got here. Member of an Australian mob, colloquially. I think this is a rue. So clearly this is agree on. Now what do we got? Strong desires, maybe yens. And I've got this German keyboard, which means I gotta remember to, where the Z is. I need to punch the Z for the Y. It's not QWERTY, it's QUETS. It's, yeah, this like the Z and the Y are swapped on this keyboard of mine. This little keyboard of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Rugby equivalent of a touchdown, and those are called tries. And Western Block since 1993, and I think we're talking about the EU, where I reside. Asian capital on the Mediterranean coast, and I think this is Beirut. Don't always guarantee that I'm spelling it correctly. Gives a grilling, maybe sear. Highlands hillside. Um, I think these are called brays. Okay, what do we got now? Academic achievements. Dog? Doesn't allow. Mm -hmm. Flattering verses are odes typically, right? Fairies? Dog beds? One hawing, but not hemming. Well, I think that's a donkey or an ass. Amazon predator, yeah. So it'd be an ass. What is this dog bed stuff? Um, wait a minute. Look at this pattern here. So if I go down, it says academic achievements, but if I move my mouse, I can see where these are grayed in. D, E, G, R, E, E, S, degrees. Oh, what's this? Doesn't allow fairies. But if I move the cursor, um, yeah, forbids. It's like a zigzag thing going on. But I don't understand dog beds or fairies. I guess it doesn't really matter. The fact that they're able to use those little staircase things, that's interesting. Well, hell, it's right down here, right? I mean, okay, so Spanish grandmother. That would be an abuela. Um... <laughs> Here's where it gets tricky on this. So next. Next could be after. Okay, so let's try it from this. <clears throat> let's see if this pattern holds. Okay, chosen to do without. <clears throat> this is the life, the exclamation mark. 
come and don't come at a craps table is bets. Bets. Also, January Jones's nickname in Mad Men. Oh, come on, bets. Bets. Come on, bets. Blink Mar Muse of Pablo Picasso, and I think that's、uh, Dora. <clears throat> My muse is named Shotzi, so this is the life. I think this is just a snarky way of saying Biotia. Now that's that's fine. So、uh, ends of a homemade walkie-talkie. Okay, so if we're gonna go with that, so be T T I M C A N. S. Now, what was this one again? Going down. Chosen to do without. So F O. Buffet dispensers or urns. Okay. So, I think this is four. It was kind of hard to F O R. Uh, G foregone. I'm thinking G foregone. G O. Um, food brand with a rabbit mascot.、Uh, is it Annie's or something? <clears throat> And now、uh, this spells fur cone. And this spells tongans. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, this is actually kind of funny, right? I mean, have you seen anything so crazy? Right. Hmm. Banana bread is often baked in a loaf pan, right? Yeah. Move that mouse out of the way. Fashionable look in lingo. I think this is called fit. <clears throat> Cornerstone abbreviation established. Floored it, maybe sped. And yeah, Andy's okay. <clears throat> so popular brews, probably IPAs. Lay eggs as fish, or give birth as in the devil. Spawn, Disney lion voiced by Beyonce. Wasn't that Nala? Nala. Doesn't matter which. Maybe any. Okay, gotta hit the Z. There we go. Color of coffee ice cream. Maybe tan. Ropes in. Maybe lassos. Subject for a non-native speaker. It'd be ESL. English is the second language. Oh, what do we got here now? Show that Cicely Tyson became the first black woman to host in 1979, and that's Saturday Night Live or SNL. It's a standard crossword staple, SNL, right?、Uh, okay. Well, okay. Let me get the parts around this that I don't have to worry too much. So, platform whose exploitation is called jailbreaking for short, and that is iOS. I've done some jailbreaking in the past and wound up ruining a phone over it, so I wouldn't suggest it.、Mm -hmm. Some athletic sneakers name that's an anagram of Oral, so I guess that would be Arlo. Yeah, so I guess on these you can just do the crosses without even having to mess with the this helix thing. Government agency with the motto "Fidelity, Bravery, Integrity." Well, it's right there in the clue, right? FBI. All right.、Uh, do we take a shot at one of these? Why not? Let's see what we got. Add evenly as a marinade. So B, B, R, U, S, H. On brush on. All right.、Let's、see if we can do it on this one. This is really funny.、Um, okay. Swindles. It's got an F and an L. 
So I think this is fleeces. E. C. Yes. Sorry, I'm having to like look at this really closely to make sure that I'm getting it right. What a crazy puzzle. I mean, this is a crazy friggin' clever. Uh, wow. Uh, and what do we have spelled out here? Frescoes and blue hen. I mean, these are words. That took some work, right? I'm sure we're not going to get this right on the first try today, though. My lord, this is crazy. Some athletic sneakers. Okay, we've got an A there, so I'm going to go with obvious. And uh, Ambassador's Aid is an attache. And Chi Chi, or Chi Chi, is artsy. I have been called that just today, as a matter of fact. Still I Rise, Maya Angelou poem, yes. Please be our hero, save us. What electrolytes contain? Well, electrolytes are what? They're salts, right? So these are clearly going to be ions. And uh, let's see next. Salute. Well, we had after, so maybe then. Then. <laughs> Textures, if you ask me. Well, this is oh, just in my opinion. It's not even my humble opinion. No, no, no. At least it's honest, right? Iconic declaration from Bruce Wayne. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I think Michael Keaton did that one best. Concerning, maybe as for initialism before an online summary. I think this is TDLR or TR, TLDR. I can't remember. What is this? Release. Okay, so I got those wrong. Let's see. This is TLDR. I, this is crossword ease for me, too, by the way. I don't even know what this stands for. If you do, leave it in the comments. Let us all know. TLDR. No idea. I've always tried to say the last damn reprobate. I mean, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. So, okay, release, I think, is let go, which is what told me that I was probably wrong on uh, TDLR. So we've got here now. Hairstyle worn by Janet Jackson in the 1993 film Poetic Justice. Um, um, is this an X? Food brand with a rabbit mascot. Yeah, so tricks. Only some sort of tricks. So, I think these are box braids. Beautiful hair in, in, that, uh, in that film. Box braids. Okay, so two in a row. Paul, who directed Bridesmaids. Well, um, I think that's a fig, but I can't remember if it's I-E or E-I. And I won't know until I get there, but I think this is fig. It's either an I-E or an E-I. I can never remember. If we pronounce German names like they're supposed to be pronounced in German, then I would understand. For example, um, if it was I-E, then it would be Fig. If it was E-I, it'd be Feig, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, two in a row. Oh, two in a row. A row and a fight. Maybe so foes. Got it. Got it. Clever clubs. Very clever. British unit of mass would be a ton. They just add an extra N and an E on it compared to us. And when I say us, I mean Americans. I'm not, it's not us. Good Lord, but I've got a lot of European and um, Asian um, uh, viewers, so I can't just say us. It's me speaking about Americans. Nature-centric channel, which is Nat Geo, National Geographic. And I think these work going from cross to cross. 80 celeb who aptly appeared on Letterman. Now we've got three letters. Do you see it in here? He was just on the other day. He was just in the puzzle the other day for being a bodyguard that charged $10,000 a day. So I think we're talking about Mr. T and his very 
in his classic line, I pity the fool. Okay, so breaming, brimming with. Uh, available as an apartment. I'm going to say this is, this could be for rent, so I got to do this with the mouse here. So F O R for rent. Yep, then E goes here. And this one I think is T name. Brimming with. Okay, so it'll be a T. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so slow. I'm, I'm, I'm really out of whack here. E M I N G. Yeah. Okay. Who said of himself in 1912, no candidate was ever elected ex president by such a large majority? And I think this is, a, is it William Howard Taft? I think it's Taft. Well, we're done with those little squiggly things for sure. Uh, get over a breakup, maybe move on. U.S. region with a weather, weather pattern officially known as Carl the Frog, and this is, uh, that's speaking of the fog, and I think this is a Bay Area Z with this keyboard. And uh, is that Ava DuVernay? It sure is. Um, section of a kid's store, perhaps toys. Okay, makes sense. Um, blank James, ABC's first black bachelor. I think that's Matt. I think it is. Um, what a king might sit on. Light entertainment, maybe a laser show. Okay, so I think a king may be sitting, we're talking about mattresses, box springs. I think we're talking about slats here. Colony member is an ant. Dangerous thing to assume, I think risk. And tiniest change, probably dimes and... Okay, so uh, oh, I hope we didn't fat finger anything. Well, I say we, hope I didn't. Uh, how do we do, Bob? Oh, hey, wonderful. So 1725, despite the jaw jacking and the fact that I was very cumbersomely moving through the keys because I'm not used to moving in these directions. What a clever Thursday grid. I mean, absolutely a clever Thursday grid. Um, so yeah, fantastic. And, and again, uh, woke up this morning to see the more likes and more subscribes. Um, you are really, really touching my heart and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. Thank you from the bottom of this touched vessel here. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Wonderful. Um, I guess I will go to editing and finishing this bottle of Chardonnay. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. Be well to yourselves, be well to others. And I think we'll take it out again today with the German and we'll just say, Ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Abend noch. Grüß Gott, Servus, Tschüss, Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Take it.